What does love look like? A lot of hearts, a lot of valentines, or is it action? What kind of action did God show us when he showed us his love? We should have faith that walks and talks. That's what the verb of love is about. What love that looks and sounds like the love of God. What would you say love is? Could you draw some hearts and fill it in with the things that you think love is and what love looks like? We see God's love living in people every day. Let's name something that is love. How about God is love? What would you say that love is? We see God's love living in people every day. Let's name something that is love. Make some hearts on a sheet of drawing paper and fill in your own hearts with what you think love is. For one thing, love looks like God because God is love. So you think you know what love is? Do you think you can fill in those hearts, the things that you saw based on what we were talking about? Okay, now let's look at, well, we know the ultimate love. Uh, when since love is an action word, was God sending his son to be with us, sacrifice him, him to come down from heaven and be just mere humans like us for a while. And our lesson today, boys and girls, is called Walk the Walk. It's August the 22nd, 2021. This is summer lesson number 12. And you are in Miss Kathy's class, and I'm so happy to see you. So let's say today's lesson, the lesson scripture, comes from 1 John. Okay, now don't get this confused with John. There's John, and then there's 1 John. John, it's by itself. You have uh, in the New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And then you go down a little further into the New Testament, and you have 1 John second and third John, okay? That's, they're different books, okay? So ours comes from first John, our lesson today, the fourth chapter, the second through the third verse, and then the 13th through the 17th verse, and then we skip down to uh, chapter five, the fourth through the fifth verses. Our key verse is God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in them. First John, the fourth chapter, the 16th verse B. And we know what that means, right? You remember? Okay, second part. When that means you're taking the second part of verse 16. So now we're going to open up with a prayer. Draw your head, close your eyes. Father God, we praise your wonderful name. We want to thank you for sending your son, Jesus Christ, to give us the best example in the world for teaching us how you want us to be. We thank you for every opportunity to be a good citizen of the world. We ask that you continue to guide us in this quest. In Jesus' name, amen. The words to know the first is acknowledge. You see the word know in there, K-N-O-W? No, acknowledge. It's related because no, it's its root word. It means to admit the truth or existence of something. Sam acknowledged and apologized for his mistake. 
The second word is antichrist. Oh, you've heard that before. It's a powerful opponent of Jesus Christ who will appear before Jesus returns to earth in the future. The antichrist will trick many into believing that he should be worshiped. The next one is judgment day. The day when God will judge everyone for how they lived on earth. Nobody knows when judgment day is. So you have to always act accordingly to the word of God. Overcome, to win against or defeat, to get over or past. John overcame his crippling fear of the dark. The next word is spirit. The spirit is the soul. When Christians pass away, our spirits leave our bodies to be with God. Testify is the next one, something that we all should do to make a serious declaration or affirmation to uh, specifically under earth oath it's also to tell how god has done something for you because the bible says you should always always when god has done something for you you need to share it with others because someone can be uplifted and and encouraged by your your story bill testified in front of the whole congregation that he had given his life to christ see Victory, success in a fight against an enemy, an opponent, or something difficult. Now, who does God want us to have a victory over? Oh, yes. The sentence goes, learning to walk again was a tremendous victory. So, from the source, we don't have our reader again, so I'm going to read it. This is how you can recognize the Spirit of God. Every spirit that acknowledges that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God. But every spirit does not acknowledge Jesus is not from God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard is coming and even now is already in the world. This is how we know that we live in him and he in us. He has given us of his spirit and we have been seen and testify that the father has sent his son to be the savior of the world. And let me tell you about giving us that spirit. When I used to tell my Girl Scouts, because they were coming, um, Girl Scouts was a ministry of the church. And about how they talk to each other and treat each other. Because you have to remember that you are all sisters. So we're talking about everybody. You're all sisters and brothers for the same reason. You come from the same spirit that he gave us part of that spirit. We're all part of that spirit. So how are you going to treat that spirit that's looking across the table from you? Those eyes to eyes. How is that going to be? So if you see another person's eyes across the table from yours, remember they are of the same spirit and you want to treat them with gentleness, love, and kindness, right? If anyone acknowledges that Jesus is the son of God, God lives in them and they in God. And so we know and rely on the love God has for us. God is love. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in them. This is how love is made complete among us so that we will have confidence on the day of judgment. In this world, we are like Jesus. For everyone born of God overcomes the world. This is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. Who is it that overcomes the world? Only the one who believes that Jesus is the son of God. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in them. And this, our key verse is the start of our lesson book story. So if you have your lesson book, you can read along, okay? If you don't, you'll still keep up with us, all right? The name of our lesson book story is Walk the Walk. 
walk the walk. You've heard people say that. Walk the walk or walk the talk. Talk the walk. Walk the talk, okay? It means that whatever you say, your actions have to show it, right? In the scripture passages for today's lesson, we are told that anyone who acknowledges that Jesus Christ came as a human has the spirit of God. But anyone who denies this, who says this is not true or don't, does not believe that, they have the enemy spirit. The spirit is in the world already. Because God has given believers his spirit. We know that we remain in God and he is in us. We know and have told others that the Father sent his Son to be the Savior of the world. Now, if you notice how the world is used differently, when we talk, talk about the world, sometimes we say that means just everybody, everyone on earth. But Christ's people are set apart. If you're part of Christ's people, that means that everybody else is part of the world. And we, as Christians, are set apart, okay? So there's some things that we don't do or we don't want to be like the world, okay? We want to be followers of Christ and not followers of the world. Got that? Mm -hmm. If we confess that Jesus is the God's son, then God remains in us and we remain in him. We have known and have believed that love that God has for us. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God. And God in them. This is how we love. This is how love is perfected in us. So that we may have courage on judgment day. Our lives on earth are the same as Christ's life on earth. So we're learning about Christ's teachings. About what God wants us to do and how he wants us to be so that we'll all end up in the same place on judgment day, right? Everybody wants to go to heaven, right? Everyone who follows God can defeat the world. This is the victory that we gain over the world through our faith. Only those who believe that Jesus is God's son can defeat the world. The lesson tells us that God is love. When we live in love with God, who is in us? That's right, God. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in them. Number two, what is it that is given up to us that the power of God leads and guides us through? God's spirit that lives within us. Match your actions with your words. The Contemporary Story for August the 22nd, 2021. After Charleston's grandpa died, his dad decided to move Nana in to live with them. Charleston was not sure how things were going to turn out. It would be a new city for Nana. She would have to make new friends. How would that work out, Charleston wondered. Dad, why do we have to move Nana to come live with us? Well, Charleston, she could live by herself. But Grandpa told me to always take care of her. Charleston, what did Grandpa always say when it was time to do something? Walk the talk, Charlie. Walk the talk. Yeah. Now what does that look like in helping Nana? It means that our actions need to match our words. That's right. It's about the love of God living through us. It's our turn to show Nana some of that love now. Dad, let's make Grandpa proud by walking the talk, just as he taught us. Yes, because that walk will make a difference for all of us. Well, Dad, come on in here. <laughs> what was Charleston concerned about? Grandpa and Dad and Nana was moving in with them. Everything would be new for her. 
What reason did Dad give to Charleston for why they needed to do this? Discuss your answers with your family and friends. Hey there, you and your family are going to be the voices for our future contemporary story cartoons. Find out how by emailing me kathyclass at mail.com. Now it's time for Ruby's Lab. Ruby always has something to say, you know. Hello everyone, Ruby here. Today's lesson is about having a faith that conquers the troubles around us. This means that having faith with the assurance of the love of God. Because of our faith and the love of God, we can have victory when we face troubles. Because God loves us, He expects us to live out that love. Loving others means that we must walk the talk and obey God's word. It means living it out as the Spirit of God leads us. Let's discuss how we can live out God's love in confidence. How do we live out this love every day? Tell me all about it in an email with your parents' permission to Ms. Class at mail.com or you can send a letter by post office to P.O. Box 74514 Baton Rouge, Louisiana 70874 I hope to hear from you soon. Alright, we have an unscramble word deal here. Unscramble Unscrambling our faith, unscrambling and scrambled words below that are found in today's lesson and scripture verses. Use the words in the word box to help you. Then we're going to transfer the letters on the numbered lines down to their matching numbered lines to, to decode or figure out a message from today's lesson. The word box words are faith, Jesus, love, son of God, and victory. Oh, someone sees number one already, right? So the first one, L-V-E-O, we can rearrange the letters in that. And we have love, L-O-V-E. Okay, let's cross it out in our word box. The number two is S-J-S-E-U. So let's see. Oh, thank you. Oh, see that back row? They're always right on time. Uh, some of you are sitting in the front row now, right? J-E-S-U-S. And number three, let's see. You have three words. N-O-S-F-O-O-G-D. So N-O-S has to be... Oh, yes. S O. N and F O, since it's not a word, has to be O F. And of course, you know that's Son of God, so the last one should be G O D instead of O G D. Number four is A T F I H. I'm going to unscramble that. Can you unscramble that? Oh, absolutely correct. That's F-A-I-T-H. F-A-I-T-H. And number five, Y-T-O-V-I-R-C. Oh, one word left. We can cross those out. And that's V-I-C-T-O-R-Y-B-I-R-C. C. T. Sorry about that little C. It looks like it was going to sleep there. Okay, so some of those letters are on. They have numbers under them. Transfer the letters on the numbered lines down to their matching numbered line. Okay, so this is L6. L. Goes on the six, 
in love and O in love is on the two. So we'll put two there. Okay, E and Jesus is number nine. Nine is the E. And let's see, sun has sun O for number seven. O for seven. Let's see, God is number one. G is number one, rather, in God. And in God, three, D is three. So we'll make a D on the other D blank. Uh, number four is I. And number eight is V. I'm missing one. Oh, that S is five. So it says, remember that and the answer is God is love. Now, the next one, I think it's something that you have to do on your own. And uh, if you want to share with me, you can send me a letter about it. It's called Bible Story Sentences what it means to me. You'll write the sentences about today's lesson to tell what you learned today. Use the words below that are found in the lesson. Number one is faith. Number two is Jesus. Number three, love. Four, victory. And five is God. So write about today's lesson. Um, put it in your own words. You can send it to me, okay? Post Office Box 74514, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. So now we're ready for our lesson summary from New Testament, 1 John. 1 John is a different John from the Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. That one's just a plain John. This is 1 John. And you have a second one and you have a third one. 1 John, the fourth chapter. These are hard to say. Let me see if you can do it with me. The fourth chapter, the second through the third verses. The 13th through the 17th verses. The fifth chapter and the fourth and the fifth verses. Pretty good. Okay. God is love. Whoever lives in love. Oh, lives in love, lives in God, and God in them. That's First John, the fourth chapter in the 16th verse B. So Christians can be sure, can be confident, can know that they have the love of God and victory to confront all the hard times. Remember we talked about um, sometimes I'm grateful to be going through some hard times because God is preparing me, finds me worthy of some kind of lesson or some kind of task he's preparing me for in the future. And he wants you to recognize the differences between true and false teaching because there are some out there, not just back in biblical days, there are some false teachers out there right now. A lot of them like they're on TV telling you things that or telling your parents or people that don't read the Bible, they're telling them things that are in the Bible that are not. And they're interpreting the Bible incorrectly to fool people. But God leads and guides believers through the power of the Holy Spirit. God gives Christians confidence and power to respond to others in loving ways. So even if there's someone that comes to your house or someone that you see someplace in, in the store that approaches you and your parents, and you still treat them with kindness, even though they may be trying to, oh, let me share this Bible with you or this Bible story. Let me tell you what God says. And you've had your Bible lesson, your Sunday school lesson, and you know that God didn't say that. You still treat them with kind, kindness. Thank you. And move, go along your way. The victory of Jesus enables believers to overcome their troubles in their lives. We can overcome our troubles in our lives. And that is the difference between believers and non-believers. Non-believers are going, oh, woe is me. What am I going to do? Oh, no. I don't know how to get out of this. 
I don't know how to get over this. I don't know how I got myself into this. That's what they do. But believers can say, oh, God will provide. God is looking out for me. God has a reason for this. I've already prayed and sent up my prayers to God, so I am not going to worry about this. That is the difference. And we can go on about our lives and lives stop in people who don't believe because they have no place to go and no place to take their concerns. Okay, so boys and girls, remember you can write to me at Post Office Box 74514, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Did I write it on the little board over here? Okay. And you can also email me with your parents' permission at Ms. Kathy's class at mail.com. Okay. We don't have any artwork this week, and I was supposed to have one for you last week. And I noticed after I finished the video that I skipped it. So we'll have one the next time. And you send yours in too, okay? Because I have to go, and I'm going to go check my mailbox to see if you sent anything. Because I love you, and I'm going to see you the next time. And God loves you too, and all that good stuff. <laughs> Bye, boys and girls. <laughs>